today we're going to do some barrel twists. twists are really easy guys and you're gonna figure out how to do them pretty much by watching me now this camera's a little wobbly but I think I got most of it basically it's just a uh, you taking two rows of locks and crossing one over the other while you grab all the hair that they collect the most important thing you want to consider before you start is how symmetrical it's gonna look and what direction you're going to take them and you want to map that out before you even start but of course the very first thing you want to do is shampoo it and retwist it all and dry it all first once it's dry you're going to want to count the number of locks across the front of the head at least until you get used to mapping it out um, by eyeballing it but if there is an even number of locks and we're doing straight backs here I'm just talking about how to do straight backs if there is a even number of locks across their head say 10 then that means you're going to be doing five barrel twists if there is an odd number say nine you'll still be doing five barrel twists but you'll want the one in the front in the middle to only start with just one lock once you're sure of how many barrel twists you're going to do. Then you want to take note of the direction that they'll need to go in by looking at the client's hair and taking, looking at the two locks that you're gonna be taking from each one and the direction that they're going to go towards. That way you know when you need to stop using two rows and start just using one if need be to get them all to fit in the back. In the crown of the head, it is usually wider, and as you reach the nape of the neck, it's usually more narrow. Then there's more locks in the crown and less in the nape. So you need to take note of that when you're deciding what direction to take them. In this video, I'm stopping a little bit past the ears and tying them off. This is me tying it off now. I tie it off by taking two locks from underneath the finish of the barrel and wrapping them over the top of it, tying them together like the first step of tying your shoelaces and then wrapping them under and tying them one more time. After you tie them underneath the barrel and it feels secure and tight, then you can grab it by the, the tied part and pull any of the loose locks um, if anything that's not nice and tight so that it can be more secure. Tie over, then under, and then pull the loose locks. So I'm gonna slow it down a little bit so you can see exactly what's going on. I've mapped out where I'm going. I'm gonna take the first lock and lay it flat and wrap the one closest to it over. And then I'm going to find the next one on the opposite side and go over the opposite direction. I'm going to take the one on the opposite side and go again in the opposite direction. And basically you just keep going with that same pattern one side then the other until you get to your stopping point. Sometimes I might give each lock a little spin before I wrap it around just to make sure it's in there tight but make sure it's not too tight. And here's me struggling to tie this one off. If you have troubles and it doesn't look good, take it down and do it over. Too many people have problems with that part. It takes literally five more seconds. But anyway, that is all. Um, don't forget that the most important part is that it was shampooed and retwisted and dried first, and then you map out what you're going to do before you even start to make a single barrel twist have your style 
planned out in your head before you begin. Once again, I hope this video was helpful to someone. Thanks for watching and see you on the next one.